Today, I'm going to show you how to design this birthday party flyer with Corel Draw 2021. So, without any further ado, let's jump right in. Hello you guys, welcome and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn graphic design and how to make creative designs, start now by subscribing and click on the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video like this one every week. Before we begin this design, I would like you to take few seconds and leave a like, leave a comment on your thoughts about this video and share this video to other graphic designers and this will help us grow and you know that. Thank you very much. So this is Corel Draw 2021 and once you open up your Corel Draw 2021, what you need to do first like as it has always been on this channel the first thing you do when you open up your corel draw and wants to start working is to set the size you want to work with and for this we are working with the a5 size which is the standard size of flyer designs most people use a6 but for this tutorial i'm going to use a5 so you click here on your page size and select a5 you just have to scroll to where you have a5 you see a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 and this is a5 a6 as well so you click on a5 and your page is set to a5 but then i'll plead with you to watch this video till the very end so i will tell you how you are going to get the resources for this design and you can recreate it and do your own design okay but before then i'm going to click on my rectangle to and create this shape like this and once you do that you click on your page and you see the size you have here 148.0 millimeters by 210.0 millimeters normally we work with uh inches as our units but i think millimeters is just a short unit i can easily grab and type to my shape since i'm working with corel draw 2021 and it does not allow me to use the feature of double clicking on my rectangle tool to create a shape just as we have always done but with this i'm going to click on my shape Click on the page again and you see 148.0 and you see 210.0 so you click here and type 148 and you select and type 210 okay and that's fine that's our a5 so you press p on your keyboard and the shape goes directly into your page you see it's equal to the page very well and next thing you want to do is to of course you know very well that i don't like working with outline on my shape so all i always do is to remove the outline so you right click here as we have always done and click on set outline color and once you do that the outline is off the shape okay and i'm going to import the resources i have for this uh tutorial i'm going to bring it into corel draw um fine ah this looks so big i'm going to reduce this cool and place it just somewhere here i'll use that later and bring in my background this is the background i'm going to use so you click and once you click you have these curves you hold here and rotate this way press ctrl to ensure that you rotate perfectly okay fine and that's cool and next thing you want to do is to open up your uh background like this press shift on your keyboard and open it up like this and this looks fine so you right click and click on power clip inside and click on your shape and the background goes inside your power clip but i'm going to press alternate on your keyboard and select the background inside the power clip and then scale it down a little and this looks perfect and fine and also i'm going to open up the power clip as well because i need to do some effects on the background before i do other elements on the design so you click on edit once you select your shape you click on edit to open up power clip if you can't do that you can simply right click and click on edit power clip to open up your power clip as well then you click on your ellipse tool and create this custom shape like this fine i think that is perfect you can bring it down here a little okay i'm going to rotate the shape this way press ctrl and rotate it this way i think this will be nice they give it a white color and right click here and click on set outline color to take off the outline and place it this way then what you need to do is to click on effect and click on blur and once you click on blur you click on gaussian blur and it applies this blur like this then you can adjust your radius to uh i think 
uh, 7C, okay? 7C is perfect. Then you click on OK, and that's fine. Then you adjust the circle again, and you can take this up a little. Okay, this looks cool. And take it up a little, and, and this looks fine. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to click on bitmap and you click on convert to bitmap. And I'm going to tell you why I convert to bitmap. How, why I did this is that I don't want the shape to be too heavy for CorelDRAW. You know, CorelDRAW 2021 has a lot of bug that makes it slow. So I don't want the CorelDRAW to be slow. I had to convert to bitmap to make the image rasterized okay you click here and click on grayscale since it's actually white you don't need color so you just leave it at grayscale and click on okay and it converts to bitmap then you click on transparency tool and you click on uniform transparency and you see the transparency effect applies immediately if i did not bitmap this shape it would have been slow a little before it bitmapped itself because I already applied a, a blur effect. So that is why I had to bitmap it and you see the effect applies immediately. So I'm going to adjust my transparency this way. I think that looks perfect. Okay, this looks nice. But we can still come back to adjust it if we observe there is no contrast in our design when we start placing text and all those other stuff. And that looks fine. Then the next thing I want to do is to click on finish and when you click on finish you can bring in other elements like this and this in fact i'm going to bring in every element inside the power clip so you select or you can reduce the size if it's too large reduce it select all the elements right click and bring it to the shape just like this like right click and bring to the shape and leave then you have power clip inside i believe you know this trick already so i'll just click on power clip inside and it goes inside the shape and the next thing i want to do is to click on edit and when you click on edit you open up your power clip just like this so this is where i will start placing elements in my design so you bring this in here then you click and rotate it this way fine press shift on your keyboard and reduce it a little like this and place it here rotate again and place it here then you can still reduce this again and take it upwards and i think this positioning is very Perfect. When you are doing yours, you just have to be careful the way you position elements in your design course. I see many people when they watch tutorials on this channel, when they are recreating their designs, they recreate something different. Just follow the way I place elements in this design and you'll be able to do yours similar to what I've done. And you can even do more than what I've done because this is just a basic knowledge, okay? And with this, the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in this balloon and press ctrl page up to bring it to the top and reduce this scale it this way and bring it to the center of the design just like this and you click on this and bring it down a little and this looks very cool and nice fine let's see how it looks like okay i think this is perfect and the next thing i'm going to do is to open up the power clip again and bring in this here now increase the size and place it here all we want is just the part of the leaves click and drag and right click to duplicate this okay and bring it here and place this somewhere here i think that looks cool let's see how it looks like very perfect and nice but then it seems this balloon is not centralized I think you observe that since it's not on the center because whenever you are working, whenever you are designing, use your eyes to balance your design and check if every element is balanced. But I'm going to press alternate on my keyboard and select the balloon and press P. Once you press P, your element goes to the center. Then from there, you can press control on your keyboard and take it upwards and take it upwards. So automatically, I'm sure that this is now at the center of this and i can bring this down a little and i think that position is very perfect now and then the next thing i'm going to do is to type in all i need for this so i'm going to type birthday bash birthday bash okay this is fine 
all right i'm going to break this bit there from here and break the bash from here as well and then i'm going to press ctrl k to break the text apart okay this is what i've done ctrl k then select bit and day and give it genesis as the typeface genesis i'm going to tell you all the fonts i use on this video's description so you can check the video description and see all the fonts i use okay genesis um fine that's genesis and this is it and i'm going to click on bash and give it intro in line i've used this font a lot ever since i discovered this font and it's very perfect i love it and you click on bed day and adjust it this way this looks fine adjust it this way fine then bring it here and i think i should be done with the effect but i need to stay on a white background so you actually see what i'm doing very well then you click on this bed day and give it this uh, green color remember i'm working with rgb colors i'm using rgb if rgb is not activated on your color you can come to windows and you click on color palette and then you click on palette once you click on palette it opens up the palette here and you select cmyk if you want cmyk and if you want rgb so i'm going to select rgb basically i set rgb as my default palette whenever i'm working for uh, uh online purpose or uh, i'm designing an e-flyer that's what i do but if i'm designing for print i set my color palette to cmyk and that's how i work and sometimes i activate the two color palettes and work with them but just a little idea in case you want to activate your colors just that way so you can close this and activate your rgb and set this rgb green like this and remember if you are doing this you are not printing this okay so that's why i'm working with rgb if i'm to print this i'll work with cmyk and then i'll click on interactive view tool and fill it this way with black now you're filling it with black fine you see how it looks then i'm going to click on elliptical fountain view then you see the black comes inside the view in a radial way like this and then i don't want the black to be at the center i want the green to be at the center while the black outside so i'm going to click here to reverse view and when you do that you are able to reverse the view like this so you sorry okay that's fine then you adjust it this way and that looks very perfect but then i still want to reveal this green a little so i'm going to double click on this line and drag to reveal the green again that looks perfect then all you have to do again is to right click and drag to where you have day and once you have that line you leave and you click on copy fill here and the fill color you have on bed applies to day also so next up i'm going to click on day press shift and select bed okay and right click on white to give it this white outline just like this and you can press ctrl q to curve this font so you can apply outline to this font when you press ctrl q on your keyboard you're able to curve the font and then you click on outline hairline or uh, outline width and you click on two points to give it this outline width just like this then you click and drag and right click to duplicate so you see we have two uh we have two uh, uh text here press ctrl page down to send it to the back fine then i need to adjust this this way place it here it should not be too far from the main text itself you see how it looks very perfect i think i should take it to the right a little that is cool then for the text behind i'm going to give it a gold outline so you right click on gold and click on select outline color and you see what we have got here and i think i'll still bring this down a little okay this is perfect here and then i'm going to add shadows to this text like this so you click on bed and click on shadow to 
and give it this shadow like this bring the shadow to this other direction okay and this looks cool now we are working with direction remember the duplicate we made on the text was moved to the uh, left bottom so the shadow should also go to the left bottom just like what you've seen here so you adjust this again adjust the uh, shadow to uh, 70 percent transparency and the faders you leave it at 10 and you see what we have got this looks very cool and very nice okay and then you we are going to copy the shadow properties today also so you click on there and you click on copy shadow properties here and you bring the the arrow to where you have bed and the shadow that applies to bed comes today as well and this looks very cool and then i'm going to bitmap this because i need to apply some special effects on this so you select bet and click on bitmap convert to bitmap and change this to rgb color okay so this is the bitmap and then you do the same today fine so once you are done with that you're going to select both and take it upwards a little and i think this is a nice position for it okay adjust this a little and now you just have to be careful with your positioning and look at this i'd like you to take a look at this okay i'm going to reduce this again i'd like you to take a look at my positioning of this element so you position yours just like this because there is actually a reason for positioning it like this so you have to be careful with the way you position your element now i'm trying to see how i can make this t to align here and then i'm going to see how the edge overlaps here because i need to make a kind of effect there okay i want this bed to go inside the uh the frame the frame here and they should be on top while b i r t should be this other way okay so you see the positioning how it looks you just have to be careful when doing this but then we have to go inside the power clip to do this so i'm going to uh select bed and they press ctrl x to cut and then click on my shape and click on edit and press ctrl v to paste so now we are inside the power clip then i'm going to use my pen tool you click here and select your pen tool and create this line you click here and make sure your line is so straight and bring it here and you see i'm cutting exactly where the frame passes okay then you create this like this and bring it to where you have the node here and that's fine then you select the shape press shift on your keyboard and select bed and click on intersect and when you do that you are able to create a new copy of h let me show you what we have done this is what we have done we have two h now by intersecting it we have two h ctrl z to return back to how it was and then you select the shape again press shift and select bed this time i'm not intersecting remember we have already intersected so we have two copies of h this time i am cutting out the text totally now i'll click on trim after selecting shape and the bed you click on trim so now you have different copies you can delete this shape off now this is what we have done h and bed you see now press ctrl z so what you are going to do is to press ctrl page down to send h to the back of the frame so you press ctrl and press page down to send h to the back of the frame continue doing this till h goes behind the frame so this is what we have got and then every other element can be the way it was let's see this finish editing power clip to see how it looks like see how it looks it looks very cool and nice and with this we are able to do the main stuff on this design okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in bash here i'm going to give this bash a okay i'm going to create a shape here like this and then 
click on your shape tool and give it these curves and click on your gold then you click and hold to see other colors inside your gold uh, color library and you click on this other color here to give it a deeper gold like this then you can fill it with the regular gold color like this to get this because i'm actually trying to work with the gold color we have on the frame here and then you right click here and click on set outline fill or color to take off the outline then with that you can duplicate this click and drag and right click before you leave to duplicate then you reverse this fill this other way fine then you press ctrl page down to send this to the back then you have this here you see how it looks very perfect you can select all and press ctrl g then with this i'm going to send it behind this uh send it to the power clip as well press ctrl x click on your shape and open up edit power clip and press ctrl v reason i did this is that i want to send this shape to the back of the frame as well so you press ctrl page down ctrl page down till it goes behind this frame just like what you can see here then you click on finish and click on bash and bring it here then using your shape tool you can adjust the tracking and reduce this here this looks very cool and nice place it here and give it white and that looks perfect you can give it a shadow as well the same shadow we applied you leave it this looks perfect you can adjust again the day bash fine and fine and fine we are almost done with this design okay and then the next thing we are going to do is to bring in other elements to complete the whole setup of this design now you need to stay to the end of this video don't go back yet don't go out of this video yet because i need to apply some shine effect on this design to make it pop and shiny because it's actually looking very dull faded and all those stuff but when i apply all those shine effects on all the elements i've used you will see a new look of the design so don't click off yet so then i'm going to create this new uh shape here with your regular um uh, with your rectangle tool you can create this shape then you click on shape tool and create this curve make it curve like this and give it red right click here and click on set outline color to take off the outline and fill it with black just like that and that's fine then you click again to get these curves and hold here and drag to this other side and you can reduce it a little so this looks very cool and nice fine then i think i should adjust this fill again so the red should be more than the black and then you click on your text tool and type here um may 12 and change your typeface to futura okay i'm going to select futura medium like this futura medium normal fine then you bring it here and make it white color press ctrl k to break the text apart then you can reduce may and take it upwards and click on 12 and make it bold use your shape tool to adjust the tracking and take this upwards and this looks fine you can make it slanty just like that so it fits with the shape and do the same to this make it slanty fine then you can type here 2021 because i like adding this 2021 because to be specific many people can be so insane they can see may 12 and believe it can be any may 12 in any year but when you add 2021 the current year it makes it look specific okay but it's all about your choice anyhow you want to do your stuff then i place it here but then you can make this very small you can make it as small as possible or basically that's still i'll bring it down here as small as possible place it here so next up you click on your polygon you click and hold and click on common shapes then you open up this shape uh basic shapes uh called shapes palette just like let me call that palette okay then you click on this particular arrow to show your direction here and create this arrow like this 
fine and give it a um, red color basically arrows in a in design signifies a kind of direction so i'm going to rotate this to this other way and bring it down here you can reduce this again press ctrl and hold and bring it here right click before you leave and press ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d to duplicate okay there is a particular trick about this now why i had them on a straight line i'm going to close this off then do this again press ctrl to make sure it's on a straight line if it's not on a straight line you will have a wrong duplicate okay so you right click to duplicate let me show you another example ctrl z then click now it's not on a straight line see what you get if it's not on a straight line if you press ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d it goes that direction that is why you have to be on a straight line so you click and drag you see it's on a straight line when you press ctrl on your keyboard you remain on a straight line just like this so you right click to duplicate and press ctrl d and you have that done very perfect and that is all for now then i actually i already arranged other elements for this design because i didn't want to waste much time on this so i'm going to cut this and bring it here press ctrl v to paste so I'm going to bring it down here and find adjust it this way. Okay, that's it. But it's not actually visible. So I'm going to open up my power clip and click on where I had the blood circle and bring it down to open up that place. So it makes it visible for people to read. Okay, because that is actually the goal of every design. It should be visible for people to read and it should be readable that's just it then i think i should reduce this a little because it's actually crossing the boundary remember you have to ensure that your design your text are not so close to your age okay to the age of your design i'm going to reduce this a little but how do you see if i bring this to this other side i think it will look good this way fine at least it will save me more space to uh place my elements celebrant there we go okay this looks cool i have enough space down there okay and then i'm going to type a uh, special invitation you know most times uh designers outside this part of the world they have a different way of making stuff like this but you know in my own part of the world that's africa and nigeria and it's very funny that you have to put things like this for them to understand that this is a special invitation else they won't honor it they'll just think like you start adding dates and all the stuff and you don't even tell them that it's an invitation they won't even honor it <laughs> so you just have to be careful when doing things like this okay but basically you work with your client's brief i actually work with my client's brief to get things done but if my client wants me to do things on my own then i i do my own way and they actually like it i'm going to leave this with black special invitation but it's gonna be very small fine very small leave it with red so it's visible okay I think that's very fine and nice so the next thing i'm going to do is to add some shine on this design and make the design pop the colors because actually it's actually looking very dull here but when i'm done color grading the whole stuff it looks better than this so you want to open up your power clip like this click on the shape and click on edit and once you do that you can click on this now my target is to make the green leaves to look the same as this green here so you click on the leaves and then you click on effect you click on adjust and you click on tone curve and once you do that your tone curve opens like this so you can drag it to this direction and bring this down and take this other way upward and this looks perfect you can see the green it's better than before and that looks fine then you can do this you click ok and that's ok you click on this other side and click on effect adjust and click on tone curve and now the same setting of this other tone applies 
to this other way around and that looks better you click on ok so that is done and the next thing you want to do is to click on the balloons because actually it's too uh, saturated so i'm going to click on effect adjust and click on gamma to make it better than this so you can bring it way down here and you can see how it looks better okay and that looks fine then you click on this uh frame once you select the frame you click on effect adjust and tune and this we are going to target the gold to make the gold better uh, you can adjust this setting because it actually picks the same setting of the green leaves but i don't want to take that same setting so i'm going to adjust the gold so it won't be too dark i think this is better okay and that's fine and the next thing you want to target is the background so i'm going to select the background press alternate to select that if you can't select that easily they click on effect adjust and tone as well and once you do that you're able to select the background then you can adjust the tone this way bring this down so we don't make the background bad fine that looks perfect that looks very fine you can leave it at this point it's just perfect and better still you will leave the background and if you feel touching this or adjusting this would be bad you just leave the background the way it was this was actually perfect and you click on finish and this is what we have got so i'm going to do some adjustments here. make this bold so it can be easily seen and then um, i think i should adjust these leaves again bring it closer a little and make it bigger than that and bring it down here fine 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 and i think that's that's perfect with this i think it's actually okay okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in this uh glow effect then you bring it here and once you do that you reduce it like this and right click and bring to your shape and click on power clip inside to send it to the power clip then you click on edit to open your power clip then you click on your transparency to click on match mode and change this to soft light and once you change it to soft light you can reduce it again and bring it here now you can place it here adjust place it here and it's not too visible so let's see how hard light looks like hard light okay hard light looks perfect then you can adjust the uniform transparency and so it won't be too hard on the on the design you place it here perfect click and draw and right click here to bring it to this other side and place it you can reduce this other one just like this uh that's fine and then right click and drag to this other side as well leave it here that's fine they bring it to this other side as well right click and drag to duplicate and that it's okay then i can still bring it down here but this time i'm going to make it soft light here soft light fine because i don't want it to be too visible there and here as well soft light and that looks fine okay 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 uh that's fine you can always adjust your transparency at any point where you don't want things to be too harsh uh like here i'm adjusting the transparency again on each of those i've duplicated so that's fine so let's see the amount of transparency i added to them so you can do the same to yours on this other side i use 54 and this other side is 64 and this other one is 57 and this one here is 49 so that's okay for this one and this other one here they are all soft light so click on finish and once you finish that this is how it actually looks so let me zoom in to see the final look of this design wow this is it so to get the resources i actually used to make this design i actually had a change in my terms of service and that is because youtube allowed me to use the feature where i can create a membership forum 
that members can join and enjoy special benefits from this channel so if you check this video below you will see a button where you can click on join and that is where you can join a channel membership and so what is channel membership all about it's about becoming a member of this channel and supporting this channel with a little token every month and when you become a channel member there are several rewards attached to it and one of them is to get these free resources i use for designs in this in our videos and once you do that you'll be getting free resources of every design i make on this channel once the video drops and there are other rewards attached to it and one of them is also having a badge a special badge our channel badge attached to your name whenever you make a comment on any of our videos the badge will appear uh, close to your name and you need to see this because the more you become a member the more you have changes in your badge till you reach the highest level where you have the highest badge in this channel so you need to join this channel membership and once you join it's very cheap they like the the, the price is very cheap so so once you join you tend to enjoy all these rewards because i'm actually planning a lot for channel members i'll be making exclusive content and other stuff for channel members so all you have to do is to click on the join button and sign up and become a channel member then you can get this resource for this design for free i'm so sorry if this is not interesting to you i'm so sorry about that it's actually my own way of appreciating people that are supporting this channel but anyways thank you very much for sticking around till the end of this video make sure you like and share this video to other graphic designers thank you very much for watching this video if you'd like to learn more about flyer designs click any of the video on your screen and watch any other flyer design tutorial you like thank you very much i will see you next time